Howdy folks, howdy. Sean Brock here with you. Got a new guitar. I want to talk to you about it a little bit. This is a Boucher. I should have said au revoir. Comment allez-vous? Uh, Boucher 22, let me get this right, GS22V. And uh, usually I do a bunch of playing before I talk about the specs. But I'm going to talk about them here right quick up front. Um, so Boucher is based in Quebec, Canada, for those of you who might not know. And for most Americans that don't know how to say it correctly, it's Quebec, not Quebec. But I'll try to alternate just to try to keep some semblance here between uh, cultures. Anyway, this is a forward-shifted scalloped x-braced machine absolutely a wonderful guitar the sg stands for studio goose and there are a couple of integral changes between a studio goose and a bluegrass goose uh, chiefly being the nut width a studio goose as this is is a one and three quarter uh, nut width um, this one um has a torified Adirondack top and you sh we'll get you some pictures up there but man is that good stuff they are right at the head of um, the Appalachians there and they were able to get just wonderful wonderful Adirondack it's all all around them and this is torified Robin Boucher the owner and founder has uh, worked with the university up there in Quebec to uh, figure out his torrefaction process. And I think it's superior. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be dead honest with you. Uh, torrefied guitars, I've found that I'm either a really big fan or not a fan at all. There are certain brands that uh, if you put a torrefied guitar of theirs in my hand, I'm like, no way. I just Just go on with yourself. Uh, but those who have figured it out, and uh, Monsieur Boucher certainly has, uh, it is really something very, very special. This is a bone nut, bone saddle, one and three quarter nut. I mean, listen to this thing. It's ringing away while I'm talking. Ringing away. Um, anyway, one and three quarter nut, bone nut and saddle on this in the vintage package. Uh, it also has uh, Goto open back tuners as a part of the vintage package. Uh, the headstock does not have a volute. Uh, it's more of a nod of kind of a Gibson-y thing there. Uh, open back tuners, as I said. Uh, ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge with a modern saddle, modern drop-in saddle. This has tusk. Uh, from Graph Tech, uh, white um, tusk pins. And that's a slotted bridge. So those are slotted bridge pins. Now the back and sides on this, you know I'm a big proponent of, of alternative tone woods. I'm a mahogany man deep down in my soul, but I love to try things that are not just your standard mahoganies and rosewood. This is Babinga, African Babinga, which is, is uh, figured very nicely. You see there, there's a maple back strip. Uh, all this, all of Boucher's stuff, depending on the package you order, they have uh, maple binding, they have koa binding. I love maple binding. They've got, uh, of course, I love koa binding too, but uh, they've got uh, maple there on the... Uh, the uh, end graph and on the heel cap uh, of course they got the herringbone there on on the top and on the end graft as well and um, the string spacing is right at two and three sixteenths and I'm gonna play it some more but I, this this is a very very impressive guitar
color. Just move around on it. We'll do our usual bluegrass rhythm. flat here for you and you're probably wondering what's babinga it's an african rosewood this stuff's pretty dense there's people that say it's between mahogany and east indian um i people seem to say everything is between mahogany and east indian but this reminds me of certain uh, cocobolo guitars that i've owned <laughs> a great amount of sustain to this thing it's very very um, let's say proactive it's very proactive to the right hand to uh, nuances I mean, and that's just such a soft strum. Wow, man. I'll take it on up to C. This is one of those phenomena guitars that I always like, too, that doesn't get weak as you go down the uh, fretboard with your capo. <laughs> up to its name i won't take this capo off it lives up to its name of studio goose because you can hear how well it records i mean you're hearing exactly what i'm hearing people ask me why do you always keep your headphones on well i want to know what you're hearing and i want to make sure that it's accurate as to what i hear uh you know just with the headphones on or off i just want to try to capture things accurately <laughs> 
12 radius on the fingerboard. I gotta give you that rhythm in G, don't I? Leave it to me. But part of my problem is, is I wasn't thinking when I started out that, uh, you know, this is a 12 radius. I put a 16 radius capo on it. Just rings out. Let's check the harmonics on it. <laughs> Listen to that E come in. Absolutely wonderful. the harmonics too on up high here that is a lot of sustain still going so even at the fifth fret there <laughs> Try the fourth 
fourth fret here. That's crazy. This thing's got a 25 uh, scale length on it. Really nice. Just super, super nice guitar the gs22v from boucher guitars robin boucher and about i think he employs all in all about eight or nine people in operation so it's a very very small shop smaller than callings uh who we consider usually to be the smallest big shop in the united states and these are really good instruments. I would encourage you, if you can get your hands on one, to try it out. I don't, I don't think you would be disappointed in the least. Uh, something I would really love to do is uh, get my hands on uh, a Studio Goose Mahogany. Uh, just to pair up with this, you know, something with the torrified top on it as well. Because these things are absolutely just crazy, crazy good. They are. <laughs> has come out so so easy on these and uh, my hat is off to uh, Monsieur Boucher and all the all the folks up there uh, the the craftsmanship on this is just wonderful when you look at the inside of the guitar it is extremely extremely clean I'm uh, the the inside of this thing is slicker than martin's satin finished guitars way way <laughs> smoother than that and uh, the bracing uh, you can look at it and you can tell that they have just took major major pains to get these things right and to get them to be uh, whatever the best that that each piece of wood has to offer they they bring it out and they come with a really nice uh, kind of a vintage vibe kind of TKL case. Uh, got the brown exterior, nice leather handle. Just a wonderful, wonderful instrument. And it's been a pleasure to show it to you today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like, comment, share. Tell me what you think of Boucher guitars. I'm extremely impressed. And uh, until next time, it's Sean Brock saying so long. <laughs>